Hello and welcome to Master Auto Reviews. 2020 was a remarkable year for plug-in electric vehicle sales. A 43% increase over 2019, Tesla took the title again for selling the largest number of BEVs, followed by a fire by the Chinese OEM Saic, while the third place was taken by the VW Group. The Renault Nissan Alliance was not able to take the podium and settled with the fourth place, while the fifth place was taken by BYD. With almost 500,000 units sold in 2020, Tesla managed to sell more than twice as many BEVs than the second best manufacturer. However, as the competition becomes fiercer, will Tesla be able to keep up and dominate the market once more? Nissan believes it has found the solution to win again the global market with its first fully electric SUV, the Aria. So let's compare the upcoming Aria two-wheel drive version with the already well-known Model Y standard range. Although sitting longer, wider and taller, it shares roughly 70% of the parts with the Model 3. The Model Y takes on the shape of an SUV in order to offer buyers a more sensible option than the much more expensive Model X. It is expected that the Model Y will soon become Tesla's best-selling product. The Nissan Aria is the first vehicle to be built on the CMF EV platform. Both Renault and Nissan plan to use this platform for all upcoming electric vehicles, ranging from small CT cars to medium-sized SUV. It promises to allow for greater modularity, efficiency and interior space. Now let's jump straight to the comparison. Weight and size The Model Y is 15.6 cm longer, 7.1 cm wider and has a 11.5 cm longer wheelbase than the Aria, but it sits 3.1 cm shorter. The Model Y has a 34 liter bigger estimated trunk volume. Although sensibly bigger than the Aria, the Model Y is 122 kg lighter. Some of this weight difference surely comes from the bigger battery of the Aria, but by using more aluminium parts, Tesla managed to significantly reduce the weight of the Model Y. Battery and charging The official battery capacity of the Model Y standard range was not disclosed by Tesla, though it is estimated that its net battery capacity falls somewhere between 50 and 60 kWh. The net battery capacity of the Nissan Aria is 63 kWh with 2 kWh on top of as a buffer. Both vehicles use a 400 V propulsion system. The two-wheel drive Aria with the smaller battery can only charge with 7.2 kW over AC, while the Model Y can also use a 400 V AC outlet and charge with up to 22 kW. There is no competition when it comes to DC charging power. The Model Y can recharge with a maximum of 250 kW while the Aria can only do 130 kW. A CCS connector is used by both vehicles when sold in the US and European markets, while the Aria will be fitted with a Chademo connector when sold in Japan. The Model Y can charge up with an estimated 540 km of range after 30 minutes of fast charging, while the Aria can add 375 km of range in the same time frame. I wonder if the traditional OEMs will be able to catch up Tesla when it comes to fast DC charging speeds. Performance and Efficiency The single motor of the two-wheel drive Aria produces a maximum power of 160 kW or 214 horsepower. Unfortunately, Tesla did not disclose the power numbers of the standard range Model Y. Same story when it comes to torque, no data from Tesla, while the Aria pulls with a maximum of 300 Nm. There is a huge difference between the two when it comes to maximum speed. The Model Y can travel with a maximum speed of 217 km per hour or 135 miles per hour, while the Aria can only do 160 km per hour or 99 miles per hour. The 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration of 5.3 seconds of the Model Y is significantly better than the 7.5 seconds of the Aria. With a direct coefficient of 0.23, the Model Y is extremely aerodynamic. Unfortunately, Nissan did not disclose yet the direct coefficient of the Aria. According to the EPA, the Model Y can travel up to 393 km or 244 miles on a single charge, while the range of the Aria according to the WLTC test cycle is 430 km or 267 miles. The average energy consumption of the Model Y is 17.5 kWh per 100 km. No data available yet for Nissan Aria. Although not disclosed by Tesla, the power numbers of the Model Y standard range should be significantly bigger than the ones of the entry-level Aria. The huge difference when it comes to top speed and acceleration surely point in this direction. And with this I am concluding the comparison. 
So what do you think, does the Aria have what it takes to become more popular than the Model Y? Judging by looks alone, I would say yes. Spec-wise, if you leave the dynamic performance numbers on the side, these two cars are not that different. But let me know what you think. Thank you.